Martin Espada's poem, Colibri, is set in Puerto Rico, in the city of Hayuya. The city's name is derived from local Indian chief, Hayuya. Hayuya is tucked in the northern border of Toro Negro Forest Reserve and commands breathtaking views extending to the Atlantic and the Caribbean. Sometimes natives refer to it as La Capital Indigena to signify its large population of Taino. Espada first compares the scattering of the lizards to the way that green canoes scattered before the invader. This is a historical allusion to the 1493 Spanish invasion of the island, which natives called Boringuen. Iron and words refer to guns and language, two of the primary tools the conquerors used to subjugate people. The Spanish named the native Arawak Indians Taino. When Espada writes that the Taino took life from the platanos in the trees, he is describing how this banana-like fruit sustained them. The fruits resemble multiple green fingers in their shape and size. The rock carvings refer to the Taino written language, which was in the form of petroglyphs or symbols carved in stone. In the second stanza, Espada tells readers that the Spanish christened the hummingbird colibri. The word christened is significant for its allusion to the Christian practice of baptism. Espada suggests that christening something that is not yours is also an act of appropriation. In this case, the Spanish are appropriating the Indians' land as well as their culture by naming the things of their world. He compares the hummingbirds frantic darting to the racing of the Taino's hearts when they first heard the sound of guns, underscoring the fear the bird and the Indians share. Hacienda is Spanish for a large estate or the main building in such an estate. The bird and figuratively the Taino are caught inside the walls of Hacienda. In the third stanza, Espada extends the comparison between the bird and the Taino, showing how the bird, like the native Taino, becomes paralyzed in the clutches of the Spanish. However, the hand also serves the function of liberator as well as captor, as it can both free and imprison the bird. The image of the hand also echoes the image in the collection's title, as do the carved circles at the end of the first stanza. Espada describes the hummingbird's native habitat as a paradise of sky, a nightfall of singing frogs. The frogs of Kokui, a local species that lives in trees and is found almost nowhere else in the world. In the fourth stanza, the poet wishes that history might be like hands, referring to the preceding image of the hand freeing the bird and by extension the Taino from its and their imprisonment. The speaker desires that history could also free people. The tone here is melancholic as the speaker realizes that history is not like hands.